So what should you do if you want to open a file? Well, step one is going to be to check for the existence of the file. And if the file exists, we're going to use the open text file method. Let me show you how to do this. So first, you instantiate the object. Then we're going to check for the existence. Because if you try to use the open text file method and the file doesn't exist, it's going to throw you an error and you don't want an error. So how are we going to do this? Well, you just utilize this object, guys. Dot file exists. And then look at this. It shows you IntelliSense file spec, which I can tell you is a file path. So let me see if I have a sample text file for you guys to check out. Let me quickly create one here on the desktop. Actually, let me create it with the file system object just for fun, just to quickly show you guys what it can do. Okay, guys, watch this. I'm going to put it here on the C drive. Do you guys see all these folders here? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is run this. Check it out. You guys see this test file here? How easy was that? One line of code, I created a file. It was almost easier than actually navigating to the C drive and right clicking it and doing new and then doing text document and then renaming that text document, right? Almost easier than that. But anyway, so you guys see this new file and it's now zero, zero kilobytes in there. Okay, so let's pretend that we're going to mess with this file. And the first step that I talked about opening a file is we have to check that it exists. So let me quickly do one other thing. I don't like to hard code anything. So let me set this file path here like this. And what am I going to take is this value here and replace it with this variable. You guys should know how to use variables by now. We had a very extensive tutorial and put that there. See that? One time I had to use this value. Now the variable controls everything. So check if it exists and let me put some text in there. All right, cool. Let's take a look. Do that. Oops, one second. It's going to write over it because I'm running this statement two times. Run it again. Check if it exists and it should exist, right? So, now we're going to get a print statement that it exists, and that's it. Mm -hmm.